All right, guys, so I wanted to take a moment and show you how to do something that I get asked a lot in uh, in Selenium and Python. So have you ever had uh, a compound class name and you're wondering which one to pick or, or how to select this particular one? I'll, I'll show you exactly what I mean here. If we take this here and we inspect it, we can see that this title test has multiple class names. Home blog, uh, oh wait, I'm sorry. Inspect one more time so we drill that right down to it. This H2 test here, text has post title and entry title as the two classes that are associated with it. So if you wanna select this test or objects that look like this test, or you know items that look like this test, do you select post title or do you select entry title or what or how do you do that and in this video i'm going to show you a way how to actually uh narrow it down a bit uh and what i what i use for this is i use xpath okay so in order to design this xpath i'll, I'll show you how to do that right here but obviously uh the first 13 lines of code are just set up for selenium you know installing the or importing the proper libraries pretty simple stuff here i've covered this in other videos uh we set our driver uh location we create our driver we get the website in question my website jonathannorth.com go right there and then we're going to try and grab that text box so how do we do that well, we do text box equals driver dot find elements because in this particular scenario, I want to return an array of elements by dot x path and then comma equals value. So here's how you create this x path string that will drill down to these particular items. So it's forward slash forward slash asterisk open. Uh, bracket contains and then now we're stringing two of these together contains open parenthesis that class name comma post title which was the first one here post title and then and contains at class entry title which is the second one and you can continue to, to string these along string these along string these along until you've gotten the right overlap that you're looking for okay so XPath, once you learn XPath, it, it sort of becomes the, the more powerful way of selecting uh, particular, it's like regex, you know, it's hard to understand regex, but once you do, you understand how powerful it is. Um, and then because we're doing the find elements instead of find element, right? There's two different methods in Selenium, element versus elements. We just loop through it and we just get the attribute or the text attribute out of each one when you run it this is what happens it grabs it waiting 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 it loops through each one and prints it out hopefully and there you go that's all the test part six part six part three four part six Part six, part six, part three, part four. Yeah, so yeah, that works. So I'm gonna put this uh, code down in this description, also with a link to book an appointment with me if you want me to review your code for you. There's a handful of uh, different options for you to choose from, but if you are having some trouble and you just wanna book a five minute, 15 minute or one hour call, go down in the description and click that link. Thanks for watching guys, bye-bye.